Hey, and welcome to Mobility Monday again. The piece of equipment we're going to use today is a large ball. Now, you might use this one, which is the large oval ball. I've actually got a smaller variation here, which is the chi ball. We're going to be using these like the small firmer balls to do fascial release and tissue stimulation. However, we're going to be popping it here on your low tummy and then we're going to pop it up a little bit higher on your upper tummy. For the best results for this training, you want to have the ball in contact with the skin so that the ball can pick up the surface of the skin and glide it forwards and backwards. These are techniques that I learned from Jill Miller with the Role Model Certification. Okay, so let's get started. You want to have a pre-test first of all. So what is my back extension like? So maybe lying on your tummy, just pushing up and having a feel. What does my motion feel like in the body? What does my back feel like? What is the ease of movement? Then we're going to grab the ball. It can be as inflated as you want. The firmer it is, the harder it's going to be on your body and it might be um, a little bit confronting with it pushing in your tummy. So you might want to deflate. You're then going to reveal your skin and we're going to pop the ball here below our belly button and we're just going to rest. So initially we're just resting here on the ball, allowing the ball to sink up into your tummy. Once you've melted here, we're going to travel from side to side, letting the ball just shear your skin over from side to side. Now resting in this area, you might feel a very strong heartbeat or a pulse. This is your abdominal aorta. It doesn't matter if you lean on it, but if you're uncomfortable and you don't like it, then you can just move off a little bit so you don't feel the pulse. Once we've done side to side, we're going to come forwards and back. So rolling, navel, down to our pubic bone, maybe a little bit higher. And then I'm going to hold the ball here and do some pelvic tilts. So again, feeling the tissue dragging on the ball. I can then, if I want to, allow the ball to stay on my tummy and pivot around. And the ball is now winding my skin up and then I'm going to stay here and I'm going to do some pelvic tilts again. Or well, now my skin's wound up, I might come from side to side. This is also a great technique for improving digestion if your tummy's not feeling great or you're feeling a little bit bloated before class. Once I've completed this, I will do the same sequence up a little bit higher. So just up here at the base of my rib cage or where my ribs come in and join in that V shape. Holding it, rolling up and down, side to side. I then might want to move my rib cage on it from side to side. So I'll hold the ball there and move. And then I can pivot again with my body and do some more movements. Then the all important thing, we want to be retesting. And even just with that small demo, I feel like I have a lot more ease of movement with my extension. Okay, have a go. Make sure it's comfortable. Remember, you can deflate if you're unhappy because it can be a little bit weird having something resting in your tummy. But it's great to enhance back extensions, leg extensions behind you, and also helping with digestion and breathing. It's a winner. Cheers, Jill.